Hello guys welcome back to Tech Dose and in this video we will see a very frequently asked puzzle in the interviews which is the ant and triangle puzzle. Let us assume that we have been given a triangle having vertices x, y and z and let us assume that we have the ants at each vertices as a, b and c. These are the name of the ants at the corresponding vertices. We are asked to find the probability so that when the ants move on the circumference of this triangle that is on the perimeter they don't collide the speed of the ants are assumed to be same each of the ants move with the same speed i would recommend that you should pause your video and you should try it yourself for 2-3 minutes then come back and see the entire video i hope you have tried it yourself and let us now see the solution the ants will not collide under two conditions if all the ants move either in the clockwise direction or in the anti-clockwise direction they won't collide. Let us assume that they are moving first in the anti-clockwise direction ok. So since they have same speed they will never collide. Each of the ant has two options. Ant A can move either to its left or it can move to its right ok. But in order to move in the anti-clockwise direction it will have the probability of 1 by 2 because it has a total number of two options and it has to move to its left therefore it should take one path out of the two possible paths now same goes for b b can either move to its left or to its right but it has to move to its right because if it moves to its left then it will collide with a therefore it also has one by two probability because it will have to move to its right out of the two choices available Similarly for C, it will have to move to its right, that means it will have to go up. Otherwise, if it goes to its left, then it will collide with B. Therefore, it also has 1 by 2 as its probability. Therefore, in order to avoid collision, everyone should move in the anti-clockwise direction. So, everything has to happen at the same time. Therefore, we will just multiply these probabilities. And therefore, this will be the probability so that no collision occurs and every ant moves in the anti-clockwise direction. Now there is still another possibility. If you can think that every ant moves in the clockwise direction then also collision will not happen. For this to happen the probability will still be the same. It will be 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 into 1 by 2. Because this A has two options but it has to move to its right. Now this C has two options either to go to its top or to its left but if it goes to its top then it will collide with A therefore it has to move to its left therefore it has to take this single route out of the two routes available. Similarly for B it will have to go above because if it goes to its right then it will collide with C therefore it will take one out of these two options therefore it will also have a probability of 1 by 2. Now this is the total probability so that the ants do not collide and they move in the clockwise direction. So this is for anti-clockwise and this is for clockwise. Now what are we required to find? We are required to calculate the probability so that the ants move and they do not collide. Therefore we will have to just add them up. Why? Because if all the ants move in the anti-clockwise direction then they won't collide. And if each of the ants move in the clockwise direction then also they won't collide. Therefore, we will have to just add up these two probabilities. What will be the first probability? It will be 1 by 8. What will be the second probability? It will also be 1 by 8. Now when we add them up, we will get 2 by 8. It will be equal to 1 by 4 and that will be equals to 0 0.25. So the probability so that the ants move on this triangle with the equal speed and they do not collide. This is assumed to be an equilateral triangle by the way. It is an equilateral triangle. So that the distances between each of the vertices are assumed to be same. They move with the same speed on this perimeter and they won't collide. The probability of happening this situation is 0.25. This is a very frequent interview question and I hope that you enjoyed this question and you were able to understand it well. Like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of these videos. See you in our next video. Thank you.